Hey guys, today we're going to take a first look at GoodNotes for Windows, which I've just received the beta download for. I've been waiting ages for this, so I'm really excited to try it out. If you want to get your hands on a beta version, look up GoodNotes Windows Beta on Google and click the first result. This will bring you to their website, preview of the program with some bits of information, and can click this join waitlist button. This will bring you to another page where you can join the waitlist with your Microsoft account. They will ask you some questions and you're all set. It took a little under a week for my invitation to come true. Okay, let's get straight into it. We'll create a notebook here and we'll call it First Notebook. It looks like we have all of the page colors here and the UI looks mostly the same. So we've got all of the templates that you usually have on iPad and we'll change the orientation and we'll go for a square template, I guess. So we've got a little bit of a loading screen, but we're straight in and we can see from the get go that it looks exactly like the UI we have on an iPad, apart from maybe a couple tools in the toolbar. But that's to be expected with such an early beta version. Uh, this is just me trying to set up my drawing tablet so that I can use it with my laptop. So now we're all set up, I'm going to just rub this out and we'll go down to the page. So we'll start writing here and see what it's like. It's got a nice feel to it. Usually I'd write a lot more zoomed in and if I was on the iPad I'd be able to see exactly what I was writing as I was writing it. But with the writing pad it's a bit harder because you don't have that and eye coordination. Anyway, we'll look through the list of options we have here. So the colors are pretty standard. The sizes you can't edit exactly, but that's also to be expected. I wonder if you can change any of the settings like you can on iOS, or is it all fixed? It looks like it's all fixed. Okay. So we'll rub this out and see what we can do. I really like the ink to shape feature on the iPad. I don't think they have it in this version yet, but I did read that the developer is going to add it soon. The writing in this definitely feels more refined than in OneNote. So we can see if we can try and change the template. It looks like we can't, but we can add new pages to our notebook, which is ideal. And it doesn't have the drag and release option that GoodNote 5 has. Anyway, we'll open a new notebook and see what writing is like on black paper. I really like using black paper on the iPad. It feels like you're writing on a chalkboard or something, so your equations look so much more fancy. One of the biggest things I do when I'm writing a long list of equations is copy and paste them. So it's really important to me that you can copy and paste text. And it looks like this is a feature in it at the moment, but it's a bit finicky to actually paste what you want. I had to do this a couple times to get it to work, but in the end it did work. It was very smooth and didn't feel as cluttered as OneNote does when you try to do it. There is this little preview of the page on the side, which is really cool, I think. I haven't seen it in the iPad version. So you can write on the front of notebooks to add your own style to it. And the shape, the ink feature still doesn't work. It's like really depressing me. <laughs> But if you go back into your notebook folder, you can see that the drawing that you did actually stays on it. Anyways, we're going to look at my notes on the iPad version now and see how they kind of compare to what you'd be able to do on the Windows version. So we can see that the toolbar is a bit more filled out as you'd expect in a later version, but definitely I feel like you could get this level of note taking in the Windows version. There's of course some features like the shapes, the flashcards and a couple other things that you couldn't really do but I definitely feel like with a bit more time it's going to be an amazing program. Some features I definitely want to see would be hold down to shape like the ink to shape thing. Uh, definitely importing files would be a big one especially PDFs and PowerPoints cross-platform sync to iPad maybe would be amazing if you could import your notes and flashcard support would definitely be a huge plus. All of these would make it easier to switch to as a daily note-taking app but even as it is in the beta we can compare it to what OneNote is after years of development and see that it is leagues ahead. I think that OneNote as a note-taking app is awful I feel like whoever wrote it, I feel like the developers don't actually use it to take notes. If they did, they wouldn't have written it the way they did. 
the team that has developed good notes definitely uses note taking apps and they know how they need to be laid out you can feel it when you use that program versus when you use OneNote. Anyway, that's all. I hope you enjoyed. If there's anything you want to see in GoodNotes, leave a comment down below. Please subscribe. Thanks for watching.